Congratulations, you've reached the tipping point on your tank. It's time to start supplementing your tank with alkalinity or calcium or magnesium or some combination thereof. You've entered the dosing zone. You're here because your corals are growing and uptaking calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium, thereby lowering the levels of those elements in your tank. First step, survey the landscape. The first step in dosing your tank is to know where your tank sits. In other words, you want to know what the current levels are in your tank for the element that you're about to dose. Now, don't guess or assume. Break out your test kit and get a result to know for sure. Dosing is a contact sport. You need to touch your test kit, you need to touch your tank, and then dose accordingly. Now, once you get those results, keep this in mind. Pro tip. While the ideal water parameters are a guideline, don't make the rookie mistake and get obsessed with hitting these numbers. If you're close to these numbers, you'll be fine. For example, your tank will be just fine if your calcium is 400 parts per million or 480 parts per million. Anywhere along that spectrum is fine. For alkalinity, I'm okay with running tanks between 7 to 11 dKH. Get in the ballpark and don't worry about hitting an exact number. Once you know where your current parameters are and you know where you want to end up, you need fuel to get there. That fuel is the supplement that you're dosing. Every bottle of liquid supplement or dry mix of a supplement has a certain potency to it. You know if you put in one milliliter of that supplement, then you're going to put in a specific amount of the element that you're dosing for. And once you know the potency of the product, then you're going to have the last piece of the puzzle for knowing what you need to know to dose your tank. For example, you have a 100 gallon reef tank with a calcium level of 380 parts per million. You want your calcium levels to get up to 450 parts per million, and you're going to dose with a Fritz RPM Liquid Calcium Elements Part 2 supplement. That means you're going to need 466.7 milliliters of the supplement to get there. Now you can do that math by hand, or you can use our calculator at saltwateraquarium.com slash reef dash calculator. We've created a calculator for alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium supplements. Just put it in your tank volume, select the product that you're going to dose, the current level of the element that you're dosing for, and then the desired level that you're trying to reach. The calculator does the math for you and tells you how much to dose. Easy! Pro tip, you want to avoid snapback, which is a sudden change in your tank parameters in an attempt to fix a low or high value. To avoid snapback, you don't dose all of the amount of the element that you need to get your levels back where you want them. For example, on our calcium dosing example I just showed you, you're at 380 parts per million and you want to end up at 450 parts per million. By using our calculator, you found out that you're going to need 466.7 milliliters of the product to get there. If you dose a full 466.7 milliliters at once, the calcium levels would snap back to around 450 parts per million. Reef tanks don't like change, and when they do change, they want to change slowly. Snapping back is not changing slowly. Therefore, once you know the amount of supplement that you need to dose, divide by two and dose that amount. Wait 24 hours and test and see where your levels are, then redose as necessary. For calcium and magnesium, I want a daily change of no more than 30 parts per million. For alkalinity, I want no more than a half dKH change in a day. Go slow, your tank will thank you. Once you hit your target levels, don't stop dosing. Corals are constantly uptaking elements in your tank. And if those elements were very low and then you brought them back in line, all of a sudden coral growth takes off and those elements drop back down again. So once you hit your target levels, Cut your dose in half, dose, wait 24 hours, and then test and see what you get. If you're above your target levels, cut your dose in half again, dose, wait 24 hours, and retest and see where you are. Over time, you're gonna figure out how much it takes of those elements to maintain those levels, and keep this in mind. Once you figure that out, how much you dose today is likely not gonna be as much as you're gonna dose in the future, because as your corals grow, they get bigger, they uptake more of those elements. So dosing, it's a contact sport. It's always motion, that's not a bad thing. That means you're having success, corals are growing, your tank is looking better, it's uptaking more of the elements. Dosing, straightforward, know the facts, test, know where you are, know where you're going, and then sit back and enjoy the road of coral growth. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.